What's up everyone and welcome back to the Owl's Nest. Today's video is going to be Mail Call Part 2. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have some boxes to open right here. I can't even get it into frame. Two of them are from Hot Topic and one is from Macari. Let me just grab one and we'll go from there. Alright, I think this one is from Macari, I do believe. Yeah, it is from Macari. Here is box number one. Nicely packaged. Got a lot of uh, packing paper and stuff like that in there right now. Alright, so this one um, is another pop from the last one I think I showed you. But uh, it is another pop from this line. And it is a Pop Rocks Pop. Pop Rocks Pop, yeah, from My Chemical Romance, and it is the Black Parade Gerard Way. Uh, this one is kind of damaged, but I believe this one fetches a higher price, so I, I believe this is going to be uh, eh, not in the best condition. It, it, it is not in the best condition, but hopefully it gets appreciated nonetheless. It is on the little bit of expensive side, I do believe, like 150 or something like that. And this was gotten for like 60, 70 bucks, so uh, I don't know. But there's the front there. It is a Pop Rocks Pop, number 41 in the line. There's the side. You can tell the box damage is, you know, really damaging. Uh, we got the back there, and we did get this one in, not this one. We did get this one in the last box, so this completes the set, I believe. I'm not sure. I think there are some other, like store exclusives that we don't have. The next box is a Hot Topic box, I do believe. No! Oh, okay. Alright. This one is from GameStop. Holy crap. I've, I've been anticipating this pop right here, and I think both of these are kind of the same. We'll find out here in a second. I, I wasn't expecting this till it said I looked on my tracking and it said February 1st, so holy crap, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That's that's pretty cool. I was still not expecting this for a little while. So I ordered this pop, I'd want to say like... I, I don't want to say a year ago? I went into store to pre-order this pop. And then a couple of weeks ago, I seen that it was available for uh, sale. Or pre-order. Then. And I went ahead and bought them and they're in right now we have some sorters which is really really freaking cool i really like sorters it is none other than the elusive bam it's the mina from my hero academia it is number uh 790 in the line which is really freaking sweet and this is the metallic one another my hero pop off the list and into the collection kind of went crazy on these because i didn't know what condition they're going to be uh, shipped in so I did get three of them however and I still got one at GameStop that I need to pick up so there's the second one and the third one so I did get three like I said and they come in really good condition kind of makes me think that this one right here I ordered this hot cash time I do believe hot cash time I don't think these did well got two more sorters and GameStop, or not GameStop, but Hot Topic is the world's worst at shipping stuff. Last time I got a few pops, they came in poly mailers, not even bubble wrap, uh, or bubble mailers. They came in poly mailers. So we have another My Hero pop here in front of me. It is the Common Mina. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Holy crap, man. The Common and the Exclusives came in today. Uh, tell you the truth, I thought the other Mina was going to have a, a GameStop sticker on it because it is, you know, I did pre-order at GameStop. Maybe the one that I'm getting at GameStop, the physical store, maybe it'll actually have a GameStop sticker on it instead of the Funko Insider Club sticker right there. If I really wanted a GameStop sticker, I guess I can go to GameStop and buy like a $5 GameStop exclusive pop and just take the sticker off and replace it. I knew I was ordered from Hot Topic and I knew that, you know, it could come in damage like most stuff does when it comes from Hot Topic. 
So I did get another Amina from My Hero Academia. Pretty cool. So now I have five of her right now, right in front of me. Uh, two common and three exclusive. So let's let's look. There it is, right there. When it comes to these My Hero Pops, I want to be a completionist. I still need to pick up a few Pops that have variations. The Todoroki's, they have variations to them, like a Metallic and a Glow in the Dark. <clears throat> I gotta be a completionist when it comes to My Hero stuff. I'm a huge fan of My Hero, so I, I gotta get these Pops when I can and all that they have to offer. And there she is, right there. She's kind of got a little base to her. This is the Metallic one. Uh, she looks really freaking awesome. I've been waiting a long time for this pop to come out. There's also another one, uh, Froppy, that's supposed to be a Hot Topic exclusive that has not came out or hasn't really went out for pre-sale or pre-order. Or maybe it has, and I just didn't pull the trigger. I, I know she still hasn't came out, you know, in physical form yet. In a pop form, I guess you want to call it. But there she is. I mean, just look at the detail on her. She looks pretty cool. That base, though, I'm really digging the pops uh, with the bases, whether it be My Hero or Marvel or any pop, really, with the base, because I, I, I believe that just gives it more uh, detail, more um, more to the character, especially the uh, Bakugo. That was a really cool-looking pop, too. But there we have it. We have Mina as the metallic uh, version. Let's go ahead and open, the co open up the common. We can look at the differences on both of the pops. Here we have the common. You can tell it's just regular. Now I like the little translucent base on this one. But the base on this one looks really cool too. Uh, metallic and the common. I really like them both. So there is the common. Uh, not as... I guess vibrant as the metallic one, but still a really cool figure nonetheless. Oh yeah, that's that's a definite keeper in the collection. Really excited to get these in the collection. There we have it right there, the two. Pretty cool. Well, that's my time for now. I'd like to thank you for clicking and watching. Be sure to give this video a like, a comment, and a subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I guess the question of the video today would be... Um, are you a completionist or do you just go after certain types of pops or do you collect them all? Do you, do you like variations or do you just like the regular commons or do you like them all and you just want to get them all? Let me know in the comments below. And on behalf of the Owl's Nest, I'll see you flock of collectors in the next one.